In today's Pick a Card reading, we're going to go over your reputation that you have with your family. If you've been around and you know who I am, feel free to skip right ahead to your reading. And if you're brand new to this channel, hello everyone! My name is JC Everly, I'm an energy reader, and this channel is all about connecting with your highest divine self. And if you're totally new to Pick a Card, readings on YouTube. All you have to do is pick a number between one over here, pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three. So once you've chosen your number, whichever pile that resonates with you the most, go down to the description box below and you'll find the timestamp correlating to the number that you've chosen. Click on the timestamp and that is where your reading will start today. Hello, pal number one. How are we all doing? Thank you so much for tuning into this reading today. Thank you everyone so much. Every single like, every single share, every single comment, every single dollar that you guys have so generously donated to this channel. Thank you all. It means the world to me and it helps so much. You know, when I first started this channel, I did it for myself. I was just making readings so that I could listen to myself <laughs> giving the reading that I want to know about because I can't perform a reading for myself without the accountability of someone possibly watching it as well so I have to you know be in have integrity with the message that's coming through instead of me just not you know just giving myself a reading I'm rambling now I think you guys get the point Let's see what your reputation is with your family, pal number one. Ooh, immediately that you guys are very uplifting energy. Are you guys the family clown? Are you guys the kind of like a main character in your family? Are you guys, I feel like in general, you guys are very seen very positively. Whether you believe it or not, your family sees you in a very positive light. They see you as very generously happy and giving and loving and always uplifting. You guys have a very uplifting spirit around you. One sec. And other things I see when it comes to your reputation with your family is that you guys are Yes, very uplifting, very positive. They love your energy. Whether you feel that or not, or believe it or not, you know, I find that with family, it can be so intense sometimes with sometimes, I don't know, the drama, whatever, whatever it is that goes on in, in everyone's families, there's always something going on with everyone's family, you know. So when it comes to your reputation, pal number one, very happy, very loving. I feel like you guys they notice you pulling away and needing to recover. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are have introverted tendencies where they wonder, you know, what happened to you. You know, you're they're so they they love basking in your positive charismatic energy and then sometimes you just dip and you're just gone and you're just minding your own business so there's just two sides of you that they experience is your super out there kind of charismatic bubbly fun energy and then all of a sudden you pull away and you're just doing your thing and you're just recharging though you're recharging your social battery and for some people you know they notice that it's it's not a bad or a good thing they're they're both actually really good things to be doing for yourself and they simply just notice it it's there's not any okay let's let's continue though six of pentacles you guys are giving you guys are generous i think i already mentioned that when it comes to the three of cups you guys are they notice that they feel like you have a giant heart they feel like you're kind they feel as though you're loving and empathetic you guys are thoughtful to the people around you they feel as though you're It's interesting when I tune into how they feel when it comes to your giving nature yeah you guys are very caring and very thoughtful with the people around you at the same time
at the same time, there is this distance, like you keep people as at arm's length, but you're also giving, so I don't know what that means. I kind of get it, you know, you're thoughtful, you're caring, and at the same time you want to protect your energy at the same time. So your family, your reputation with your family is that they see you as very hardworking. When I think about your your family and the way they, per they perceive you, they see you guys as being someone that's very focused on their craft. So you're really into your work life, you're really dedicated, passionate, and assertive. All those lovely things when it comes to the work area and your projects, stuff like that. They see that you guys are dedicated and focused bunch of people. Whether you agree or not, this is this is their perception and the reputation you've built around yourself is that you're you're a very yeah, you're you get you really get into your projects and your work and all that wonderful stuff. And they do see like this is incredibly positive. I, I almost sense that some of you guys, pal number one, did not expect this type of a reading, but actually your family sees you in an extraordinarily good light. They see you successful, they see you have harvested your rewards, you have planted trees, you have planted plants, you have planted blueberry bushes, strawberry bushes, apple trees, and you're reaping the rewards of everything that you have made for yourself. And they sense this subconsciously, they sense this energetically, they sense this on a physical level too because the way you carry yourself and you're you know happy you have a good voice you are caring you're loving you have a good sense of boundaries where if you need to recluse and retreat to recharge your batteries they see that they don't take it personally i feel like some of them do before in the past though not anymore they just get that that's how you roll now Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have a really good reputation. Like your family, pal number one, sees you guys in this... I mean, on, to stay on track, on theme with your reading, with these gold cards that you've chosen, that they see you as a golden person, like a golden child a golden egg type of an energy that you carry and that they that's how they see you because they see that you're able to create everything that you want to create in your life and i also sense maybe that they wonder how you do what you do whether they say it or ask you to your face or not they do wonder that they wonder how are you achieving all these things and and in some people's, in some of your family members' mind, they're like, okay, well, that's why pal number one recluses because they have to work on it and they have to be focused here in order for them to achieve all these successes that is being shown. You know, you have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. So you guys are high achieving, highly successful individuals. That's the light that they see you in is that you guys have created so much in your life and reap the rewards of your hard work and your hard labor is really showing these days so congratulations i want to say i don't know have you guys achieved something lately have you guys I feel like you guys have accomplished something because this is the energy that they uh, your family is sitting on Yeah, and with all these successes and how you are naturally as a person, pal number one, they your reputation around your family is that you're just going to continue doing what you do. You have more projects you want to accomplish. You have bigger and crazier goals that you want to achieve and you're going to get it and no one's going to stop you. And they know that. I feel like your family's, your, the reputation you have with your family is that you're stubborn, is that you are a go-getter, is that you have a big heart, and you know how to, hmm, what's the word, disperse your energy. 
you know how to where to spend your energy that brings the most rewards for yourself and everyone that's involved yeah so the reputation you have with your family is that you like to take time out the spare energy we got that when it when we got the four of swords so <clears throat> You guys have grown a lot. Your family has really seen you grow. I mean, literally. They've seen you when you were a baby. They've seen you evolve from child to adulthood to wherever you are in life. They have really seen it all and they're so proud of you, actually. I don't know if they've... I feel like many of you guys, pal number one, have heard them say that they're proud of you and they truly are because they see you growing into such a successful individual and if you don't feel like you're successful already you will be successful they have a lot of high hopes and a lot of belief in you pal number one that you have grown so much and you have the ability and self-awareness in you that you're able to learn from the past as well some people many people actually are unable to move from the past and truly learn from the past and let it go and continue you know you have that ability to let things go and see life for what it is now and adjust accordingly so that's the reading i have for you guys pal number one i hope you liked it if you did help me boop that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you in another one bye for now Hello pal number two, how are we all doing? Thank you so much for tuning into this channel and this reading today for you guys. Every single one of your likes, subscribes, shares, every single dollar, it means so much to me. I had no idea that, you know, starting this channel I would even be getting any attention at all. I first made this channel for myself to make readings for myself so that I can listen to it myself. It's crazy that and really cool to see other people resonating with the messages that I get in these readings. So pile number two, the reputation you have in your family. Already we have the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, oh my gosh, Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, pile number two. The reputation you have with your family is that they see you as, oh, really bright, lots of great ideas, really smart, really witty, and they actually quite admire the ideas that you share with them. They think that they're really intelligent and sweet and <clears throat> really you know, they, whether they say it outright or if they don't, they think this though. They think that you guys are intelligent and you guys have a bright future ahead. If not already, they, if, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you guys that are tuned into pile number two is that you already live a very bright, excellent, successful life. Because look, you have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Do I need to expand on that? Do I need to explain? So, pile number two, they see you, your reputation to your family is that you have everything under control when it comes to your finances. They, I wouldn't be surprised if your family comes to you for advice when it comes to how to get to where you are in life. They see you as, you know, someone that's very high achieving, someone that is motivated someone that gets what they want and that you already have what you want they see you as someone that yeah literally has everything that they want already what more do you want and you already have it all that's how they see that's a reputation when it comes to you know it's so funny because when i you know decided to make a reading like this i expected a little bit more drama a little bit more you know because every family has stuff going on in them but pile number one was so positive pile number two you guys so far are so extremely positive and that just goes to show that people 
in general and especially even even in your family they're they're also people so they however people see you in your real life what they admire about you what they find lovely about you is also what your family finds amazing about you too whether they because they've seen you they've seen you grow so it's a little bit more intimate and vulnerable of a connection so maybe they don't express it or it's not as obvious because you're so used to them being a certain way but actually the truth behind it all upon number two is that your reputation with them is that they see you as highly capable as highly successful as someone that is has a lot of bright and brilliant ideas that they hope to see you execute into fruition you also got the lover's card so you guys are able to really commit to your projects to your career path and you guys make it happen you guys are action takers you guys are able to create things that most people cannot even fathom creating and they find it so cool witnessing you live your life the way you live your life they find it so inspiring they find it so admirable and they're so proud of you and when it comes to your love life they feel as though whether you feel agree or not they actually upon number two your family sees you have an extremely successful love life you know they see you, your love life as if it's out of a romance romance movie out of it just it's so out of like a out of the books out of the movie like your love life is so lovey-dovey whether you are single or in a relationship the people you date and the way that you go about your dating life the way you go about with your partner it's so sweet and loving and beautiful and that's the type of love that everyone strives for they, they, your family really sees you in quite a beautiful light. You know, you have it all when it comes to your career, your life, you're intelligent, you're capable. And when it comes to your love life, you attract the right people at the right time. And the way you experience love is so beautiful. The way you date, the way you interact with the people that you're interested in is so interesting to, in a very positive way it's so interesting to witness and hear about you know your, the stories that you tell seem so out of this world and you know what a lot of the people in your family reminisce on the memories that you guys have created and they think about you when you were a kid very often you know they your family loves you to bits they really do and they think about you often they love you so much and they think about who you've become now because we see look at this imagery it it kills me it's like you were this puppy and now you've grown up to this bigger puppy and they look still love and care about you or maybe you were this little boy here and they watched you grow up and you've become this such a you know successful individual and they will always see you in that light no matter what you're going through in in life they're always going to see you that way they saw you grow up and they have so much belief in that you will be so successful if not already i feel like you guys are already successful in many ways and you guys will continue to be successful knight of pentacles yeah and your love life they see that you are very successfully moving maneuvering around the realm of relationships and dating you know they see the people that you date and they see the trips that you go on the dates that you guys go on it's really cute it's really adorable and they wish sometimes even that they can experience a little bit of love in the way that you guys experience love. Take it however it resonates, okay, upon number two. Yeah, and the reputation you have with your family is that you're highly, highly psychic, that 
be you're successful because you have the inner compass in you to know what's right and what's wrong and you guys are able to yeah make the right decisions for yourself in your life and they praise you for that. They see that. And they even, a lot of your, a couple of your family members actually learn from that from you as well. They, they see that you have a strong inner compass. You have a good value system, a good moral system. And they learn. They learn from that way of being when it comes to you. You're able to transform. Angel of death. You're full of wisdom. You're able to change and shape shift. And people in your family witness that about you. when you experience trials and tribulations you don't let it stop you you just continue and you learn what you need to learn and you do what you need to do to get yourself out of whatever you might have gotten yourself into and they see you do that and they're so proud that you're able to do that for yourself some people don't have that strength <laughs> okay, I'm pulling this last card for you guys, Palomar 2, and you guys got the mystic light attribute reveals an intimate union with the divine. Oh, that's amazing. So you are so divine. It, it's said in the card that you are absolute, so divinely aligned with your highest, highest path. And there's nothing but just absolutely goodness coming out from how your family views you. Whether you agree or not, whether you feel that or not, or experience that or not, this is how they truly see you, is in this extraordinary light. And they see you... Sometimes they see that you might be delusional, that's the only thing, that you're so high you aim for such high grounds that, and it's just a projection that they have on themselves in their life. They, they don't see it as it being possible for themselves. And so they don't, they sometimes project that onto you and that's really all it is. But just focus on you because 99.999% of how they view you is so extraordinarily loving, caring. They reminisce on all the good times that they've had with you and all the amazing times that are to come as well. They, they love you. They're proud of you. They adore you. And you have a very ad admirable level of intuition and ability to aim for big things in life and you truly actually get big things in your life sometimes they think you're delusional but i feel like the more you do it the more they believe you no matter what you want you're gonna get it so that's the reading happy guys pound number two thank you so much for tuning in help me boop that like button if you haven't subscribed already consider subscribing and i'll see you in another one bye for now Hello, pal number three. How are we all doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to another reading of mine. So grateful for every single like, every single comment, every single dollar that has been sent my way. Thank you so much, you guys. It's been an absolute blessing and unexpected too. Super appreciate every single one of you guys. And let's find out what reputation you have when it comes to your family. This deck is bigger than my hands, so let's try to work with it. Oh my gosh, Polymer 3, you guys are so, so delicate and so cute. And a lot of your people and your family still sees you as a little baby. They just want to take care of you and protect you. Pal number three, your family, the reputation you have with them is that they still feel the need to be super protective and yeah, I thought that's just the word that it is, that they still need to be protective around you and they are very guarded when it comes to anyone entering your space. They're almost like guard dogs when it comes to you guys. It's kind of cute very loving by nature, very delicate. Um, 
Well, let's work on going through these cards one at a time. So you have child, nature, child, magical. So that's why I still, I feel as though your family still sees you as a baby and they want to protect you and do everything in their power to guide you in the right direction in life, whether you enjoy this about your family experience or not, or if this is what you want, or however you experience your family, this is, this is your reputation. This is how they see you. So let's continue. Friends with animals, they see that you're really good with animals. They're really, your family sees you as a very sensitive being. I can't help but to keep feeling that protective energy around you guys when it comes to your family and how they view you. They see you as this cute little porcelain doll. They they really see you as very adorable type of individual. Because they still see you as a baby, of course they're gonna think you're adorable and cute and you know, you have a sensitive nature to yourself. <laughs> Goddess, light attribute, the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. So, you know, I feel like the reputation how your family views you is that you have a lot of creativity and you guys are very unique. You guys have a lot of things that are different to, you know, what is normal in this world. Like, what is normal anyway? But for the lack of better words, that they see you as someone that's extraordinarily talented in their own way and they want to see you harness your unique talents and that you are super unique in general to begin with. That's the bottom line that we're working with here when it comes to you and how your family views you. Passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. So I see this card in two different ways. There's two sides of this. It's that they feel as though you guys need a lot of guidance and that you need a lot of... Someone that is like 10 years ahead of you, they, they see that you need that person in your life. Take it however it resonates. Or the other side of that, this card that we got as well, is that you make an extremely good mentor for the world. It's because you have such a big heart and you understand animals, you understand magic, you understand being a goddess, being a god, living, having God live through you. You have that ability to teach the world and teach the people around you to harness that god energy in yourself and help people harness their God energy in themselves to live life. So I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, your family sees that potential in you. Your family, the way they see you is that you're really good at making new friends. You guys are really good at, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys, when you were a child or growing up, that you were you're hiding in your room a lot and just doing your own thing. And, you know, you guys are able to, you're really good at adapting to social environments. They do notice that I knew your family, like you're a social chameleon when it comes to going about life and finding yourself in different social environments. And when it comes to transforming in life, you don't even notice it. You know, some people take the death card, which, which means a very deeply transformative time in their life. Some people take that to heart. They really take that and see it as almost a tower moment and the tower moment in tarot is a sudden change and it just shakes up someone's world. But with you guys, pound number three, your family notices when you go through changes, it's like as if it's nothing for you. It's just a part of the flow of life. You, you understand that life is a constant flow of change, that life is a continuous cycle of evolution, that you, you, your old self has died a second ago and now, now you're always new. As time continues, you are always continuing to be a new version of yourself. You just have this deep spiritual, intellectual understanding 
of how life really works and it's not how the schools have taught us it's not how society has made us believe what life really is you get what life really is and i don't need to explain it to you guys you guys get it you know there's evolution there's changes you gotta keep evolving you guys know how to manifest you guys know how to do what you need to do you guys guys can read the room you can adapt to different people different walks of life that you come across and it's no big deal you know and that's how your family sees you too you are their absolute baby that they see you as a sensitive creature but at the same time you're strong and sensitive at the same time so you are able to get through life in a very you know that saying of pick the path of least resistance you guys are the embodiment of that saying you guys are actual water and you pick the la path of least resistance actually for real and you don't even think about it you're just that's how you are and you have this kind of carefree nature that's how your family sees you this carefree individual that's just doing their own thing and minding their own business and when life has a lightning bolt striking you you don't even notice it you're like oh just another lightning bolt oh just another life change oh just another career pivot oh just another breakup it's all good life is life and i want to it's almost this i don't want to say hippie but it's when you think of a hippie they just and there are negative connotations to a hippie so it's all the good things of a hippie you know someone that is carefree and they understand how society is built they are hyper aware of themselves and the environment around them they can read the room they can read the energy as i'm saying this we got the high priestess card so you guys are you guys just get it i'm not sure why you're even here listening to this reading polymer three you guys understand how life works you everything looks to other people like your family and friends and everyone in your life witnesses how you live life and it seems like it's so much easier than than everyone else's but no you deal with the same amount of trials and tribulations and growth but you just ride the wave you're you're like this surfer just riding the waves of of life and you don't let it you know you're you're either riding the wave of life or you're letting it cr you know suck you into its abyss you know like if you're thinking of a wave on the ocean you can either you know be on top of it or let it consume you and you never let things consume you that's what i'm trying to say you know there's different types of people that react to different situations in life and pile number three the reputation you have with your family is that they see you go through life and it seems like it's so much easier than everyone else's for some reason you're loving you're caring your heart is so big you're just walking around like the beautiful god and goddess that you are four of cups so because so sometimes i feel like you are taking some things for granted however that resonates with you guys pile number three um so we mentioned a lot of light the light side of you and the positive side of you and like one thing that they do notice in your reputation is that maybe you don't take enough action and it makes sense because you have this very chill kind of cool calm collected type of demeanor to you guys upon the number three and it bleeds over to other aspects of you guys so your reputation whether this is true or not you probably you guys have a lot going on for yourself in your own way and sometimes they just notice like oh you know what i feel like pile number three you know they could be doing a little bit more with their life that's the only thing that they sense when it comes to how they view you pile number three mm, okay five of pentacles four of cups Any clarification on that please look we have another child card children your connection with children is a part of your life's purpose they still see you as a baby they still see you as a little kid i can't 
it's come up three times in your reading. So, you know, they, I don't know, do you guys stay at home a lot as well? You know, you have all these amazing, beautiful attributes of your personality and your way of being and a part of okay so your reputation with your family they they want to see you go out in the world more they want to see you do more that's that's their only little thing that they have to really say when it comes to oh like pile number three you guys you know let's let's get it going let's get it moving you're so talented you're so witty you're so smart you're so wise you're beyond your years you're so sensitive and that can that's a strength that's a huge strength being sensitive is has for some reason negative connotations in in society but actually i see it as such an advantage to have because when you're sensitive you can read the room really well and you can use that to your advantage you're sensitive to how life is reacting to yourself and so you can adjust accordingly it's a really powerful upper hand that you guys have in life you know some people don't have that sensitivity radar in them to use so your reputation with your family is that perfect timing so Oh, okay, so you guys, of course, you are super sensitive, beautiful, fairy-like beings, pile number three, so you go when the time is right to go. You really follow the path. At least there's this resistance, and you don't really pick anything that is anything but that. And so sometimes your family gets impatient, like, what is pile number three just waiting for God to hand you this thing on a silver platter actually yes we are palm number three you and i we are waiting for god to lead us the way and sometimes god likes to take his time and that's just what it is and so sometimes your family members are a bit impatient with you making a move with your life stuff like that and this is all just small things you know they don't hold it against you it's just something that they think about you know once in a while but most of importantly your biggest theme here is that they still see you as a baby they want to continue babying you they don't want you to grow up they want to just smother you with kisses and never leave the family nest you know that i feel like pound number three you're destined to live a life where your family is always going to be close to you and that is such a big blessing in itself i love that for you guys and uh just <laughs> the last message you know what we'll pull another card but we also got a card that says get some exercise so i feel like your family is just wanting to push you like there is this energy of encouragement and wanting you to be pushed into being more proactive and active in general in life whether it's whatever they, they just want you to do a little bit more that's that's all that they have to say but most importantly they love you to bits and they see your strengths and you know how how amazingly in tune you are with yourself your spirit and the way you carry yourself is so beautiful as well and they just want to take care of it like you're a delicate flower okay last card is my world is a reflection of my thinking so your family whether they're into manifestation or not they subconsciously know that you guys are really in tune you know i feel like i've said this message like 10 times already so we're just saying it again in a different way pile number three is that you know they your reputation with your families they see you being very powerful i want to say shapeshifters and manifestors you're able to work with energy really well so take it however it resonates i hope that made sense that was kind of a really abstract reading that I did compared to the first two piles. I really enjoyed tuning into your energy and if you like this video help me boop that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll see you in another one. Bye for now.